Right, we're still in lockdown. DJs, let's get this music organization sorted. What's going on, people? DJ CB here, and we're back with another music organization video. In the previous videos, I taught you how to input music into iTunes, how to sort our metadata, and how to get the BPMs. By the end of this video today, you're going to have folders and you're going to have smart crates in your iTunes to make your music library even more organized. Let's get into it. As you can see here now, in the previous video, we sorted out a playlist with all the brand new music that we're putting into iTunes now. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I'm gonna leave them down in the description for you to check out before you hit up this video. So now we have all our new music in our music library. We wanna, we wanna organize it even more into folders. So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to go into our Serato folder. And as you can see, it's empty. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new folder in here. The first folder we're gonna create in here is called BPM. The second folder we're gonna create in here is called years, drag that out. And the third and final folder we're gonna create in here for this video today is genre. These three folders are gonna be the main folders you're gonna use in your DJ set. I use these folders religiously when I'm DJing, yeah? I always use the BPM folder when I'm doing main set. If I wanna warm up, I'll use the years folder. If I wanna, if I wanna do a genre specific set, I can be in genre. But you, you can always bounce around all the folders. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna talk about each of the folders and then create the folders with inside that. So within BPM, what you wanna do when you're DJing in the club, say for instance, you start a track with 90 BPM, you might wanna stay in that range. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create folders, we're gonna create BPM ranges with inside this folder. So what we're gonna do, with inside BPM, we're gonna create a new folder and create a minus 70. And then we're gonna create a new folder called 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 110, 110, to 120, 120 plus. So what I like to do when I'm DJing, I like to stay in my BPM ranges when, I'm, when, I'm, when I select a song. So I'll select a song, say for instance, in the 90 BPM range. Then I can be inside here and then all my songs in my library are going to be inside this 90 to 110 BPM range. When I'm DJing in a club, I don't just like to be in one genre. I like to have all my music within one folder so I can go in any direction I want to. Inside the genre folder, we're gonna create genres folders within inside that based on what songs we have already. So, if, as you can see here, we've got dancehall. So let's go into genre, create a dancehall folder. And then we've got hip hop and rap. So let's create a hip hop and rap folder. And then go back to songs. Then we've got a mashup folder. And then we've got R&B and UK music. So let's create them two folders. And then in the years column, what we're gonna do, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna create all the years which, which covers all our music library. So if I go into here, so the year starts in 1990. So what we'll do, we'll create one folder for 90s music. So we'll do 1990 to 2000. We got 2000. So what I'm gonna do, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna create, we're gonna create a folder for each of the years. So I'll be back in a second. Right, so as you can see here now, in years, we've got 1990 to 2000, then all the years from 2001, all the way into the present year, 2020. Obviously, as you go along every year that comes by, all you have to do is just create one more, one more folder. Right, so now we have all our folders. Now we have all our folders created in Serato. All we need to do now is go through them each, each of them and create smart, smart crates with inside iTunes. Smart crates are an automated way so whenever you add new music to your library, they will then automatically put them into the specific playlist based on the rules you set them. So let's, let's go into our 70 to 80 folder. Inside here, we're gonna create new smart playlist. Then if you go to here, you can go to BPM in the range of, so then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go from 70 to 79 because we don't wanna have 80 in there because 80 is for the next folder. So then what we're gonna do, so we're just gonna call this 70 to 80 BPM. As you can see in here now, there's no songs in here because we have no 70 to 80 BPM songs in our library. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the 90 to 110 one so you can see it actually working. You can see all the songs between the BPM of 90 to 110. So you can see here, if I, if I order it, 93 all the way to 96 because we haven't got any other songs up until 110. 
So this is a great way to organize your music. So when, when you add new music in, it will automatically come straight into this folder. So as you can see here now in our BPM folder, we got minus 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 110, which has all our songs that we already have in our music library, 120 to 100, 110 to 120, and 120 plus. Let's just rename that. So you already know that when you when we add new songs into our into our library, they're gonna go automatically into these folders. Next up, we need to sort out the genres. The genres are a lot easier because all you need to do is go to file, smart playlist, genre, is, and then we're gonna start with dance all here. It's what I mean, this thing, these are a lot easier if you have your metadata sorted from the jump. So I'll go type in dancehall here. If I go view all songs, you can see all the dancehall songs in here. So I'm gonna do the rest for hip hop, mashup, R&B and UK music. Right, so there we have it. We have all our BPMs and our genres sorted in smart crates. So when we add new songs in, they're gonna go automatically into these folders. These folders are gonna be so helpful when you're in your club sets, trust me. Now, the longest one now is going to be the years. You need to create the smart folders based on the year. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get into that right now. Whew, right, so as you can see now, I've just done all the years. Right, people, listen to me now. It's just a one-off thing you need to do. You're not gonna do this every single time. It's just a one-off thing you need to do. And then once you're done, you'll sort it and you're gonna be fully, fully organized. So as you can see now, I've got all the smart crates with the years. So what you can do now, a good way to help you build your music library is you, you can go into these folders and be like, I need to download more 2004 music. I need to download two, more 2005 music. It's a great way to help you build up your music library as well as help you organize during your DJ sets. So now you have your basic structure for your music library. You don't really have to do much more now until you need to create folders for specific scenarios in a club, which I'm gonna get into the next video. So when you add your music straight into your music library, it will automatically go into all these different folders we've just created based on either BPM, genre, or year. In the next video, we're gonna sort out club scenario crates, which are so, so helpful, as well as warm-up crates, ladies folders crate, all that kind of stuff. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscriber button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. My name is DJ CB and we're out.